All right, so I'm gonna make a tree like that. Yay! <laughs> All right, first I'll start with a cylinder. I'm gonna assign a new Lambert material. I'm gonna reduce the number of uh, subdivision axes. I usually want to have a cross there in the center, so I could, if I wanted to merge it to the side, so I selected eight subdivisions. I'm gonna select the top and the bottom. I can come over here and select it like this, or I can select everything and with Ctrl unselect it part. I'm gonna, with, with the an object mode with D and V, I'm gonna pull the pivot down. And with X, I'm gonna snap that pivot to the grid. I'm gonna duplicate this, I'm gonna scale it, I'm gonna select an edge loop over here by du double clicking it, I'm gonna scale it down, move it down again. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate it, scale it. Duplicate it, scale it, duplicate it, scale it, duplicate it, scale it down, duplicate, scale down, okay. I'm actually gonna pick those edges over there and bring them down a little bit. I'm gonna pick that Azure loop over there, scale it down. Okay. I'm gonna use the append to polygon tool to close this over here. I'm gonna select those faces, I'm gonna go in create UVs, planar mapping, I'm gonna project from the Y axis. Now I'm gonna go into UV texture editor or edit UVs, UV texture editor. I'm gonna scale this top part down over here. Okay. I'm gonna select all this top part of the tree and merge it with mesh combine. Now I can come over here in the UV mode, select everything, scale it. I'm gonna put this in the top part of the UV. When I shift click, I'm going to click on the bottom part. With the UV mode, I'm going to select this part here. With command, right click, I'm going to go to shell, to select the whole shell of the trunk. I'm going to move it down and scale it. Oops. Okay. Now, I'm going to combine both of those with mesh combine. I'm gonna go into the UV mode, select the whole UVs here, go into polygons, UV snapshot. I'm gonna export this, I'll call this 3UV, PNG image, image format. Okay. Over here, ignore this. <laughs> I'm gonna open that 3UV. Gonna create a new layer underneath just so I can see it better and fill it up with edit, fill, in this case foreground, foreground color. Okay, so now I can see the UV over here. I'm go even going to put this in multiply mode so I can see it better. I'm going to go in the pen tool and make... I'm just clicking and dragging as to adjust the adjust what I'm doing, I don't even know how to say this, like making it rounder. So I'm making the green part of the tree, the leaves. Okay. Right, I'm gonna delete this fill color that I did. I'm gonna put a color for the trunk here. Use the rectangle tool and just make a rectangle down here in the bottom. So this would be a tree texture. I think I'm gonna go into 
layer, layer style, gradient overlay, just to get a little gradient in here. I'll change the blend mode to multiply. Turn down the opacity a little bit. I'm gonna do the same on the top, so I'm gonna right click, or I'll just do the same. Layer, layer style, gradient overlay, multiply, change the opacity a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna hide my lines. This layer is the layer containing my lines. I'm gonna click over here on the little eye. I'm gonna save for web. I'm gonna say this is a PNG 24 on the presets. I'm gonna turn on transparency. New tree texture. Some documents. Over here, I'm gonna right. We're gonna click it. Right click. Use favorite material. I'm gonna pick a Lambert or a Fung or whatever. Right clicking over here, I can find my Lambert easier. I'm going to click over here, I'm going to click here on this checkered square, go into File, this little folder over here, it's my documents, it's a 3, no, it's new 3, new 3 texture. Okay, so Maya sometimes gets a little iffy with transparent textures, so you might be seeing something more like Oh, this is actually fine, okay. Sometimes it's, it goes a little weird, kind of like that. So what you want to do is to come here in render, viewpart 0 click over here. Say texture algorithm to be depth peeling. Also make sure you don't have uh, ambient occlusion turned on, otherwise things will look even weirder. And yeah. Gonna just make sure we're overlapping well enough. But yeah, that's pretty much a tree. Uh, to get the edges to be... <laughs> oh, stop it here. <laughs> you can come into normals and soften edge for the edges to be smoother instead of the way it's looking over there if the edge is very hard. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much what I did. That's a tree. Grande, grande. I'm gonna stop recording now. Woo!